I've been doing kickboxing since I was 12 years old. I started competing, ended up tearing every ligament in my left leg. The doctor told me I would probably never fight again. I didn't let that get me down. I keep positive people around me, my dad, my family. When the doctor told me I'll probably never fight again, I was like, man, you don't know what he's talking about. The day after surgery, I was back here sitting on a BOSU ball, hitting the bag with my leg propped up in a chair. So I wasn't gonna take no for an answer. I was gonna get back in here and do what I love to do. I was out for three years. So as soon as my knee was healed up, I was back in the game. I've been doing kickboxing my entire life, but in order for me to be the best fighter in the world, I'm gonna have to do MMA. So I was like, you know what? Wherever the fight goes, I'm gonna be ready for it. I started MMA a few years back, and at the time, my goal was to be in the UFC. Who wouldn't wanna fight for the UFC, you know? And when I made it, I was just like, man, this is a you know, dream come true. We got two brothers, two sisters. We all fought full contact kickboxing in our younger years. We did all start when we were three years old. My sister was the first. After her, I started competing. This dude used to put down like three bowls. Oh, like easy, easy. Stomach shrinking, man. My brother Tony, he was more into football at the time. He played for Elon University, came home, was like, you know what? I want to get into fighting. So at 275 pounds, he's a beast. But I think he's wanting to do it now, too. Come to me. Come to me. Stay with me. Come on. Finish strong. We're finishing up. Beautiful. Having your dad as your coach, it can be a little difficult sometimes. Big circle, big circle. He fought kickboxing back in the 70s and 80s, so I just have this respect for him. We just have this click. He kind of tells all my other coaches what to do, so he's the main guy. I actually softened up a lot ever since he's gotten a little older. Don't tell him I said that. 11, give me deeper. 12, come on. The MMA world's a tough world. To be an MMA fighter, you gotta be tough and hard in a lot of ways. My dad makes everything happen. All I focus on is training. He's the one that goes out, and finds the opponents to come in and help me spar for training camp. He does so much for me, which is why whatever he says, I do. Ready? Attention! And bow. Face the flag, pledge of allegiance, and begin. Right now, I basically have two jobs. I'm a professional fighter and I run the kids program at Upstate Karate, which is our family-owned business. We've been in business for 30 years. I love it, man. I love teaching the kids. Steven's a beast. I mean, he's an athlete, but he's respectful to everyone. Doesn't matter what level of status that person holds in the MMA world. He will hang out with the new amateur, as well as your George St. Pierre's and your Rashad Evans. Ready, go! That's what I'm talking about. A lot of these kids here, they come in and you see their lives change just through the martial arts. That's why I do what I do, to be honest with you. I know what the martial arts did for me, and I want to give that back to them. Hands up! Moving around. If I wasn't fighting in the UFC, I think I would still be fighting. That's just who I am. I kind of don't know anything else. 